said about the black guys, but we have been working from Asia, so Portugal, Uruguay, and then South Korea. Of our team? Of the group that we've been putting, do you think we stand a chance of you making it out of it? Why not? Why not? Uh, Ghanaians are always quick to uh, uh, arrive at a decision on anything when it comes to football. But these are technical things that we need to do. And so on the day, on the pitch, if you are able to put your hearts together, the sky will always be a limit for you. 2006, we were paired against Czech Republic, who was the highest ranked team before the World Cup, against Italy, the eventual winners, and then the US of A. And then we, we did not, Ghanaians never gave us the dog chance to progress, but we did progress. And so I wouldn't look at Portugal having Ronaldo and the likes. I wouldn't want to talk about Uruguay having Suarez and the likes. And then South Korea having Song and the rest. I will also want to have Ghana because they are also thinking of Ghana. Some of them don't know how we play. And so what I wish for is that going from between now and November, we'll have all our players intact. If I say intact, it means that we wouldn't have any injuries in camp. We'll have the coach to select the best out. And this time around, I'm sure they are going to camp not less than two weeks so that whatever things that he needs to get out of the boys he's able to do. Recently, they were in camp for only two days, and you saw what they were able to do. So imagine if we have Otado for the World Cup and putting the players together for two, three weeks, how they are going to gel together. Not Otado per se, but uh, I have confidence in our team. But the coach is the one who is directing the team. And so if he does not direct the team as to what to do, results will not come our way and so I, I'm all for the team uh, whether the coach or his assistant or the people around but you have to know I don't know what the communicate out there was that it was for these two matches now that the games are over and we've qualified I hope he stays I'm sure all journalists will ask the same question. I just spoke to Max TV and the same question was posed to me. I would say that let's allow the coach to make that decision. I've already read and heard a lot from Ghanaians who don't want Salisu especially around the team. But I can tell you that 2006, Laya Kingston played in all the qualifiers a player like Habib Mohammed never played one minute during the qualifiers. Somebody like Alex Techimensa never played one minute of the qualifiers. I can go on, but uh, let me stop here. But they were in, at the World Cup. So if Salisu hasn't played, and me standing, I don't know why he has not come to play. But the coach currently says that he spoke to him and he has good reasons for not coming. So if at the end of the day he, he says that I've spoken to him and he's ready to play. Who am I to say that he cannot invite him? Because we are looking for the best. And you yourself stated that we need our best Arsenal's around. So if he's one of our best before that time and he picks him, I don't think anybody will argue with the coach picking him. Because we should allow the coach to do his job. Because we, we, we've hired him to do a particular thing for Ghana, which is to give us results. And for the two matches that he was the head coach, we've gotten the results needed. And so... I don't have to challenge his authority or his decision when he thinks that he has, he's going to pick player A or player B and I say he should go and pay player C. I think we should allow the coach to do that.